A young mother and two of her children are dead after an early morning fire in Pritchard's eight mile community. Investigators are still trying to figure out what happened. WKRG News 5's Chad Petrie has been following that story since dawn. He joins us live with an update. Chad. Well, Devin, the investigators from Pritchard Fire, Pritchard Police, they've cleared out, but they've left behind crime scene tape here. Also, a small group of people gathered to also pay their respects here. The crime scene tape doesn't necessarily mean a crime has happened, but when we last checked in with Pritchard Police, they hadn't ruled that out yet at this point. Another thing that I wanted to show you at this scene is where exactly the fire was concentrated at this home. It was really concentrated to the left forward section of that small home. Home there you can see how it kind of cut through the roof, the smoke and the flames and the smoke really throughout the entirety of that structure. Uh, learning new information earlier this morning, family members identified the victims in this case, in this tragedy. The mother identified as 27 year old Tylesha Williams, the son, the young son, four year old LaTerrence Mitchell, and the daughter family members identified as two year old Tylea Mitchell. The three were taken from the home but later died from their injuries. It's a huge loss for this large and tight knit family. Now the fire itself was called in just after four this morning. At least two neighbors that I spoke with say they saw the blaze and called 911. Pritchard Fire responded and also Mobile Fire Rescue also called in to assist for mutual aid. Family members say Tylesha was a young mother full of life and this was a family that was loved and the tragedy they're facing is unimaginable. By now, most everyone that lives around here has heard about what happened and hearts are breaking for this family. I mean, it's terrible because I used to work at the hospital and a mobile infirmary and I know how it is when someone loses someone in a fire. It hurt my heart that I couldn't believe that children got killed. You know, I couldn't believe that. I couldn't understand that. I still can't understand it. And I never will understand that. And what they're trying to understand now is how did this happen? What caused it? Few answers are available now, and it could be a while before the state or the city has a rough idea of how this fire may have happened in the first place. Reporting live in 8 Mile, Chad Petrie, WKRG News 5.